Hi, I'm Tom Ross and I'm the Unit Coordinator for Advanced Food Safety Management which is one of the units as part of the Masters in Public Health. And this unit is concerned with understanding hazards in foods that can make people sick and understanding how they make uh, people sick and also ways to prevent that from happening to protect the public. This unit runs entirely online and you'll work through a series of online interactive uh, lectures on a little disc like that that we'll give to you that has a lot of resources, a lot of multimedia components as well, but you'll work through that, and read through and do the activities in your own time. We also run a weekly asynchronous online discussion uh, in which we'll pose a topic every week that everyone in the class has to respond to. It's a bit like an internet bulletin board. Uh, those discussions uh, run a bit like a tutorial so that there'll be a tutor like me or someone else involved responding to questions, raising new questions and trying to keep the discussion going for the course of the week. The unit will introduce you to many specific examples of hazards in foods that can make people sick, whether they be physical, chemical or biological, um, and to try and generate with you an understanding of how those hazards arise, where they come from, but more importantly, the sorts of things we can do to detect when they're present in foods or how to eliminate them when they're present. Importantly, the unit aims to give you a scientific understanding of those hazards and how they arise and how they can be dealt with so that we can develop the most cost-effective risk management strategies to minimise the risk to public health, but not in a way that makes the food un un unaffordable. Those approaches include strategies for the food industry, but also government officials and public health workers. We normally get 25 to 30 student, 35 students per class, um, and they come from many different backgrounds because this unit is offered across a whole range of different degree programs. That's kind of good because we get the opportunity for those people to share their experiences and um, perspectives, and we get quite a lively discussion going quite often. But what's common is that we're developing in you, hopefully, the ability to look scientifically at the risks posed by hazards in foods and how best to manage that risk. The assessment in the unit involves preparing uh, the weekly online discussion responses that you do, you'll get assessed on those, but also three large assignments and we encourage you to work in groups. Those assignments are specifically directed at getting you to understand the hazards and the sorts of solutions that might be used to minimise their presence in foods. Group work and learning is encouraged. That's it, we hope to see you.